During a classic episode of Antiques Roadshow, Fiona Bruce took viewers to Powys Castle where the experts shared their expertise and valuations on several interesting items. Ranging from a collection of memorabilia from the 1966 World Cup that belonged to Hugh Johns to a dramatic porcelain sculpture of a lifeboat crewman. However, it was a set of rare coins that caught the attention of John Foster. Sharing his fascination for the collection, John began, So, when I see a collection of gold coins like this, I always think how obsessed all around the world every culture throughout history, people are with a shiny gold medal which all of our monetary system is based on. Are you a gold nut? Far from it, the guest replied. My mother, his grandparents were the gold nuts. They collected these sovereigns over the years and when the grandchildren more came along, they collected more. And then the instruction was when she passed away which she sadly did, was they were to be sold and the money divided equally between the five grandchildren and it had to be used as a deposit on a house. John's attention turned to the collection as he discussed where they came from and how old they were. He said, when you say the Victorian collection, I mean, sovereigns in this form started in 1870. There was a need and necessity to get away from guineas to go into a more sort of universal currency which was recognized throughout the world. Pure gold, quarter of an ounce and have been madly collected ever since. You've got ranges here from 1838, which we have here. 1839 and then right up to the modern 2000s. The guest chipped in, in the cases here, there was a little note and Therese and 1838 one that says, Sovereign of Victoria. And then underneath the 39 one, said this might be worth a pound or two. As John pointed to the individual coins in cases, he pointed out, it's interesting you say that because the two there, the 1838 and the 1839 are rare. Don't miss! Coronation Street Legends Real Life Mum cast as part of Murder Plot, latest, Immerdale's Caleb to take down Kim after Nikki Link exposed, spoilers, Varys Riley Jones on change to character as he addresses future, exclusive, they would have a value of around £2,000 each. Okay, the guest nodded before talk turned to the large gold coin collection. And then the rest would have a value of £30,000 to £35,000, John added. The guest took a moment before finally saying, wow. He went on to say, the grandchildren will be pleased. Yeah, it is a great story and a brilliant idea, John added. After the valuation, the guest's son also shared his shock at how much the coins were worth. He said, I am quite surprised, I had no idea it was going to be anywhere near that much. Antiques Roadshow is available to watch on BBC iPlayer. Come